My name is Andre Witwe. I'm the Learning and Development Manager for Rectron. So the Academy is something really exciting. It's something that I've been working on for months. Um, and it's really aimed at, at, you know, deserving students and giving them an opportunity to go into an industry that is not very well known. And, um, I mean, how many people do you know that have, you know, drone experience and have pilot license? So, so really, it was not only for Rectron as a business, but for the, for the community at large. I think these are really definitely above average individuals. I think it's, it's you know, it's not only in, in what they, their smarts, but I think in terms of their attitude and really wanting to learn a new skill. Um, we've, we've obviously upskilled them on other programs as well, and they've performed really, really well. Uh, currently, we have some existing uh, learnership programs that we're running with uh, Rectron, who has been one of our stakeholders in this, especially the ICT space. Now, as the technology is advancing, of course, they are also adding uh, some skills or some, of course, operation that will respond also to the skill. Of course, this launch of today, of course, we just came as the partner. Uh, we were just invited, by the way, in this launch, which we really appreciate because for us, it will increase, of course, the partnership because as the CTA, we are mandated to uh, to ensure there's a skills development taking place in our space. But as the CTA, we can train, but we train through partners, of course, partners like Rectron. So, of course, this one is just one of those new platform that of course we'll just have just to tap in and just to explore going forward. First of all, we've invested a couple of hundred thousand rand this year, uh, specifically in the equipment. Uh, we're planning to invest a couple of hundred thousand more in terms of the training and the academy itself. But this is not only about this year. So what we actually look at is we look at the project in totality going forward for multiple years. So putting a number to an investment is always very difficult. But we didn't look at it in that sense. We actually looked at it in a sense of we investing in the future of this country. So the investment that we're putting in is to actually invest in the future of the country. The more we invest, the better the benefits, the more value we can add. So the academy itself is the starting point of our investment. So Rectron is um, quite a people-focused uh, business and the people strategy is part of our strategic um, objectives. One thing that uh, you know sits in the people strategy is also skills development. Um, we, as a business, understand that we need to develop certain types of skills uh, that are going to enable us to achieve the business objectives that we need to achieve. Um, so, therefore, getting uh, you know building doing that one has to build the right relationships um, and create a people-centric culture uh, within the business which I think the leadership te the exco team at Rectron has done tremendously and it's a focus for us um, we you know in this initiative we had to partner with our vendors our stakeholders the CETA you know in understanding that in order for us to drive drone business, which is a business, uh, you know, objective, the drone business, we need to develop. It's equally important to develop that skill. Yeah, I, I've been involved with drones for let's call it almost the past ten years um, on a hobbyist level, um, and back then already saw the potential that these, this equipment has for for generating jobs and. No, to me it was just a passion to to uh, to get my hands on the technology and use it, and I've seen it evolve exponentially over the years. How technology has just skyrocketed from a DJI perspective, and and the technology that they've developed, and taking that back to just the hobbyist, you know, excitement for that technology. Now we are really starting to see the opportunity that there is for jobs to be created and how these students and young people can benefit from this technology that has grown so much over the years. I mean, adding on that, I, I used to be a drone pilot myself, so it, it used to be funny when people used to say, 
are you really a pilot? And this is what you have? It doesn't pay that well. It, it, you know, it creates an opportunity for for better talks and to understand where we are trying to go as the world, not just as South Africa or a particular industry, but the world is relying and has accepted the drone technology. And I think at the end of the day, being a part of it and upskilling from a young age is very important. I was actually saying that this this should start from a primary school level. And so people are aware that, you know, instead of wanting to just be doctors or lawyers, there's other things that are exciting out there and drone technology is definitely exciting. It's We always say to each other, it's not the full solution, it is a tool, however it's a very powerful tool that does change lives, it does save money, it does increase uh, productivity in your workplace as well. So those are certain things that businesses in this day and age want to have or would like the involvement of drone technology and within their actual business. <coughs> from Soweto, White City. Uh, my name is Ludo Seiko. I'm from Loli. I'm also doing leadership in Tinka support. I'm Tabse Mugosi from The Val. I am Trevor Mukanaz. I'm from KZN and uh, I'm here to conquer the world. I'm Simpi Mashezi from KZN and Bangin. I'm also here to conquer the world. Like she just said, it doesn't hurt to have more qualifications. But for me, I, uh, I'm really interested in gadgets and I, I think I would really enjoy working with drones because, you know, gadgets and technology, it's, it's what I love doing. So, <clears throat> you know how they say, when you're doing what you love, you never have a day in your life. So, yeah. For me, it's a great opportunity to embark on because I'll be fixing drones also. Um, being able to fix computers, repair computers, now there's this opportunity that I'll be able to repair drones, which is an exciting opportunity. They said there's got few people who have drones certificate or in the drone academy. So I think we are we have got that opportunity to embark on the market. There's that space for us. To be honest, I um, I do have that entrepreneurial um, ambition, mm -hmm. but. As for this drone academy, I um, haven't really thought about it because it's something that just came now to my to my mind. You know, I've been uh, on uh, software development and um, you know, technical support, mm -hmm. so I hadn't really thought about that. To be honest, and again, it's, it's, it's about grabbing as much information as you can.